I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about states underscore date in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So it is used to return the date of the most recent update for a statistics on or table or index or view. Or we can say that to return the dates of the most recent statistics for our table. So at your inside this you can find a state. So if you add square to this query. So here you can find object ID and name of a state here a state ID. Now here after if you uh, select to some particular columns like name and here this is for update date by using a states underscore date so it return update dates on a columns and here from this term and here there is the uh, here I'm applying DPT so DPT is the one or uh, here one table and here comparing here the filter condition is object underscore id so object id that try to match with object underscore id of dpt so if this condition is satisfied then that returns some uh, stats so at here this is the name and here this is the id so name of state it's returning because i selected name and this is the update date now here after you can or without uh, or giving filter condition you can find the states so previously i used apply on uh, or dpd table or you can directly used with index so here uh, so here this time index so this is the name here updated so here previously i used this dot states or here i used this dot index now here after the next thing so I will return the dates or statistics on the table were last updated. So if you ask secure to this query, so it will display the stats ID name and here this is the state dates that is last updated. So here after uh, for finding uh, a state, so I applied a states on uh, DPT number. Here you can find one uh, folder states. So there are three states there. So this is the name. Now here after I am going to create new states. So at here simply giving st st k and here after click on add. So this is the apply states. So by default sorry I selected dpt or table. So here dpt table you can find three columns. So I am going to apply states on dpt number. So select the column add to the statistics. So I applied this one. Now here after let's click on OK. Now here after if you execute so there is a one states it's created with the name here states and here this is the created date 16-3-2019 and here this is the update date 11-15 so 11-15 is there now 42 or here you can uh, do some modification on states so go to the properties here after that's the I'm going to remove first. And here after creating a state on D name. Now if you ask secure to again, so here uh, now let's ask secure. So see a states and here this time uh, a states updated on 11.51. So I'm trying to do some modification on uh, system defined state. So let's try here. Now here after going to remove and here after let's click OK. So going to apply DNA. Now here after execute that. So I'm getting the masses here, error masses because I I could not update. Or uh, the reason is uh, states of this column were lost updated and here error. The reason of no uh, masses is these three are system generated states. Okay, these three are system generated states. So when I try to update, it's directly out from the out from the statistics folder. Now execute that. So see, it's a odd, but it's a still displaying. Okay, it's a still displaying. Here you can find the details here. W A S five B five B here. Now let's update to these things. So see, five B or five B. It's all displaying. So oh, that means uh, if you try to update. So some system related states so you cannot do simply so here you can find some error but uh, I just created one state 
and here you can do some modification so here let's uh, oh, add and here going to apply a state of lock and here after so one lock now here after i'm going to remove that part now here after execute that so on 11.53 i update some state so see right here this is oh, 11.52 okay 59 second so one oh, thing is on 11.52 59 second there is one state updated or oh, let's uh, wait for one uh, one minute after that i'm going to do some modification on states so here this is the sys dot index now here after you can check this dot so here you can find here i and d x so here you can find index index column so you can apply or uh, states on index column also now here after says dot states so this is the state columns here you can use a state column also now the time it's so uh, i think i should wait to one minute okay 11 50 is right now here after i'm going to do some modification on states so here this one okay 1154 it's right now now here after do some modification so let's uh, or do some modification or two column here after act apply now here after you can change see the difference on the state so see at 114054 there is uh, something change here on state so by uh, by using uh, states so we can uh, check or uh, updated dates so system or uh, things the so system state we cannot change and manually we can uh, create one uh, states by clicking right click here to new state here to follow these steps so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you